Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. Any verbal placement you resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information and a jewelry scene will all be linked and listed. At the end, we will pull oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, here we go, Virgo. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Your first card out this week is the Two of Pentacles. That's all we got so far. But it does seem like there's either a lot going on, you got a lot on your plate, um, or there's, there's a decision you have to make, and there you are. Major Arcana, the Hermit, Virgo energy, showing up as your true self. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Very interesting. Six, seven, eight of Pentacles. What else do we have for Virgo, please? Lots of Pentacles. Lots of practical energy here. Some of you could literally be dealing with some sort of financial thing. But I do see a sense of isolation currently. That could also be why you're reading your, your cars are so quiet. Definitely a sense of isolation, as if you're not uh, really mingling and mixing with anyone. Very um, solitude energy. But it does show you as your higher self. So you're going in the right direction. Oops. Six of cups. So now you have two sixes. Yeah, there's some sort of cycle here, some sort of pattern. Three of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the four of pentacles. Lots of pentacles. Two, four, two, three, four, and six. Bottom of the deck is the eight of cups. That's your only eight, right? Yeah. Interesting. So there is some sort of cycle here that is finally needing, getting to be released, needing to be released in order for things to progress. There's some sort of cycle that you need to leave behind because it does look like you've been repeating it for a long time. If this is not your energy, this is someone you may be connected to energetically. Friend, family member, lover, whoever it is, the dog, different for all of you. But there's definitely something that needs to be walked away from here. Some sort of um, pattern that someone has here that is not conclusive to growth. It's keeping them sort of stagnant and stuck. The Four of Cups. The Four of Pentacles is my um, Grinch card. A holding back, a not, a not letting go. Yeah, someone's definitely holding on to something that is not, um, that they need to let go of. They need to loosen the grip on something here. Also could be someone doesn't want to give up on something. Could be you, could be this person, whoever it is you're dealing with, a, a friend. It does seem like there's a situation where someone is not giving up. They, they don't want to give up. That's really what's going on. They don't want to give up. Looks like something that has been going around and around or, you know. But the Six of Cups, it does speak to some sort of really deep connection that you have with somebody. Whether, it, whoever it is, you have a very deep connection with this person. Soul, Soulmate-like energy. Very pure connection. That could be why this person doesn't want to give up on this or you don't want to give up on this. But it does seem like there's a bit of solitude here from the connection. When someone might be wishing to sort of work things out. I don't know if you're not talking to this person or what. But the Nine of Wands also tells me I'm not wanting to let go and not wanting to give up. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It's like you guys have had, you know, lots of cycles of something. But still, the, the desire to give to it is still there. The desire to make it work is still there. With the Six of Pentacles, that's also a sense of balance and generosity. Someone still desires to have a balance give and take, especially with the Three of Pentacles there. And it does seem like they're willing to take practical steps to do that with all these Pentacles. They at least got one more try left in them. They at least got one more try left in them. Yeah, they're stuck. They can't move forward. They don't want to move forward is the vibe that I'm getting. You also have two eights here. 88 could be significant for you. That's also this reciprocal energy, something destiny, something that's destined. Could be dealing with a cancer, heavy on the cancer energy or a water sign. Something happened between you and somebody. You're either not speaking to them, they're not speaking to you, whoever it is, but there's a the desire to move on from this together, to progress, to continue on whatever journey or path or trajectory you guys were on before. 
there does seem to be a bit of um distance between the two of you with the four of swords the hermit but it's like someone still hasn't let go whether you know it or not whether you're speaking to this person or not they still very much want to invest and they do believe that in time you guys will come back together two of cups they do believe in time, Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius season could be an important time frame, but definitely someone thinks that you guys will get it back together with the with the balancing of the cups here and the two of cups. Someone that you are currently kind of on the outs with is very much convinced that uh, you guys will get it together because they're not in they're not letting go of it. They're not they haven't given up. This could also be you. They haven't given up. They still very much think that you guys have a chance. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. For some of you, it's a family member. It's a friend. That's why they're so convinced. You know. What is the guidance for Virgo if this is a love specific, a romance specific situation, I should say. What is the guidance for Virgo? But you have someone here that's pretty much a ride or die. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life and trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. That's very much the vibe that I'm getting. It could be that this person's codependent on you. I don't see any sort of negative energy, though. I don't see any sort of uh, unhealthy energy. At all. So whatever happened here, um, I don't think it's so much a problem between you two. It couldn't be an, an external problem. That is affecting the relationship. That's affecting the friendship. It might not even be the two of you at all. It could be something completely different. And one of you are just, they just know that you guys will get past it. Some of you, maybe you are dealing with some sort of addiction in the family, you know. And it's putting a strain on you and your partner or your siblings or whatever. But trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Someone does. Someone does have faith. Looks like they got enough faith for the both of y'all. Guidance for Virgo, please. Dolphin spirit. Mm -hmm. This and that are true. So it's like being able to see both sides. Being able to be to see both sides. But dolphins are also creatures that uh, I think they do. Do they mate for life? I don't know. Sometimes life stings at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely some sort of hardship that is happening right now that is affecting a connection. It's definitely affecting a connection. Some sort of hardship, some sort of um, test even, or, you know, curveball that is affecting or putting strain on a connection. But somebody is very sure that you guys will get through it. Whether you're sure or not, I don't know. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries. Someone is very sure that you guys will get past this. And on to greener pastures. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. So, very, very mixed messages here. Maybe you need to take more of this person's energy on. Maybe that's also what this this and that are true energy is. It's like, yeah, there could be a lot going on that's very stressful, but it's like, don't allow that to dictate your reality. Because it's very clearly maybe weighing heavy on someone. That is you, Virgo. You could be isolating yourself and sort of, dis you know, cutting, cutting the outside world off. But it's like the people around you are still very much um, burning the flame, keeping the torch going, hoping that you're going to come back to civilization type of vibe. So you could be going through something, maybe with work, maybe with finances, or you're dealing with a family member, and uh, you know it's causing a bit of distance between you and a partner. But they're very much uh, holding it out. So this is saying maybe loosen up a little bit. Don't uh, you know? Don't forget that there's other things in life that you need to still be celebrating, even though a certain aspect of your life might not be the best. All right, that's the vibe I'm getting with that. That means for the go. Don't dim all aspects of life just because one aspect of life is not going the way you would like it to go or unexpectedly. The things that you say to yourself matter. Be kind. Yeah. Someone's in a very dark place right now. Could even be some sort of depression with the, with that. Someone's in a very dark place right now, but someone else is very much holding the torch for you, hoping that you'll make it out. Make it out of the cave. Because dolphins are also very playful. Very childlike. 
All right, Virgo, that is your reading. Oh, that could be what you need to walk away from, all the emotional baggage that you cannot control, the things you cannot control, the things that are bogging you down. Maybe that's what needs to be walked away from. Yeah, because it's definitely keeping you stuck. There we go. All right, that's your reading. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.